let's talk about the difference between the thought of love and the actual feeling, experience, being of love. So in love, there's absolutely no resistance. And one thing that a story that humans like to spin is that there's no logic and there's no thought in love. So you're a fool in love, you lose your mind, you lose all sorts of things. When in reality, what we lose in that are things we never really wanted to hang on to anyway. So it's in how it feels, it really is that good that we can use how it feels as guidance. But here's where that may go awry. So whenever I speak of this or whenever I speak of how the guidance system of feeling as a uh, determining like how true or how um, false as in caught up in the separate self your thoughts are, the problem of that is it's never your actual experience and it's never real time. So if I tell you about a thought that makes me feel bad, when I'm telling you that right now, like I could spout out any horrible thought right now and it wouldn't make me feel bad because I'm not believing in that in that moment. So when we're coming from a place of love, we're coming, we're actually coming from a place of perfect clarity or what I talk about as being like the inspiration of the author. So the author writes contrast and writes development into the story, um, all out of inspiration. So the circumstances the characters are facing isn't um, important because <laughs> they're not actually real. So that's sort of where the guidance of feeling is coming from. And so, Love does not exclude whatsoever. And so when we try to exclude certain feelings, when we try to push against them, all we're doing, we're never pushing against the feeling itself. What we're doing is we're pushing against <laughs> the, the thought. So we're trying to exclude it within the realm of thought. Uh, which in order to do that, so the only way, the, to reiterate, the only way I can exclude something, the only way that is abs that is possible at all is to think of it. See the irony here? To think of it. <laughs> so when we push away any sort of negative emotion, when we are feeling sad or angry and we don't want to feel that way. We are, we're excluding it, so we're actually bringing it into our experience. So <laughs> feeling or non-exclusion works as attraction. So um, we think that we are a somebody who moves around in the world and changes location. So if we want something, we go to it. When awareness is not aware of our body as being separate from the world. So that's where movement becomes possible. That's where the reference point is. Movement is duality and movement is thought. So in order to have movement, we have to have a reference point that is static or stays in the same place. So if I'm not actually moving, if uh, like I have the power as you have the power right now to change my perspective so that this is like virtual reality. So <laughs> it's as if there's a screen, which there's not, there's no screen, but imagine that there's a screen. And so everything is coming to me. So this awareness, this unconditional love, this being, is what you really are, which is why you cannot exclude anything. And which is why exactly excluding anything causes negative emotion because you cannot actually do that. So when we try to exclude negative emotion itself, 
we get caught in this circle, this like spiral. <laughs> we just go around and around and there's no um, getting out of it until we realize that there really is no movement going on there whatsoever. So the funny but tragic circumstance that I set up when I try to exclude negative emotion is I try to make this guidance system, which actually has my best interests at heart, my enemy in that moment. And so uh, doing that, which the guidance system is guiding and is feeling, doing that feels bad. So we're, we're caught in this, in this cycle. So if I have a thought that I'm feeling bad, that thought feels bad. So it reinforces the very same thing. Whereas if I start to see like this entire <laughs> wondrous beyond logic magic of how this works, this thought feels bad. So I drop the thought. Then I, I see the fact that there's no monster under the bed and I see that feeling itself is unconditional love and always was unconditional love. Then I can use thought to create with as an expression of this unconditional love and to think thoughts, uh, to drop thoughts and when I do that don't feel good and when I do that, Thoughts that feel good, thoughts that are new, thoughts that I've never thought before, thoughts that are insights, thoughts that show me more how this works. And really, it's almost as if you're like feeling an emotion guidance system, which is not another entity. But if we talked about it as it was such and you realized you were it. So all this time you've been fighting with it. How can you fight with yourself? You've been fighting with yourself, but you realize you are it then like all that it knows is available to you. <laughs> that wonder, that love is what recognizes itself, what bees itself, what is itself. There's, there's no end, there's no limit to what could happen, to what could be realized when you tap into that.